Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sean of Third Rail I hope you're having a beautiful day today. So a bomb was found at the Trump rally. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. It just wasn't. Um, th and that's what this story is about. It's about how there wasn't a bomb found at all. Do like, subscribe, share, help me grow this channel. Uh, uh, at Third Railify on YouTube, on Rumble, on X, and thirdrailify.locals.com. That's the best place to support me because it's financial. And, you know, I'm, I'm just uh, a humble stay-at-home dad with four autistic young sons. How are we going to eat? Anyways, um, cops confirm no threats to Donald Trump's rally following report of explosives found in the car. So I'd, um, a couple hours ago, I was... With my little son Griffin, we were playing all the all, all of that stuff in the morning, and uh, my phone goes off, and it's my friend Rob. You might know him. Sometimes stream together. Sometimes I go on, on his show, The Spin Cycle, or The Washcast. Anyways, you can find him on 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 Rumble, The Washcast, and he sends me this message: "Dude, this is insane. The violence has to stop." And then it's an article about how from the Daily Mail, about a bomb being found at the Trump rally. And I'm like, well, I guess I know what I'm covering today. Um, it turns out it's false. It's false. So I go, I go click on the story, and it's changed. It's changed to this. Cops confirm no threat to Donald Trump's rally following report of explosives found in the car. Police say there is no threat to the former president or, or the rally site on Long Island after explosives were reportedly found in a car near the site. Now, a lot of people could have got hurt because unlike Kamala's rallies, um, people line up for these things like 12 hours in advance. People are like lining up, camping out, tenting, all that stuff. The line is already 100 miles long by the time it's supposed to start. Kamala's, there's like nobody, and then all of the buses come in, the 50 buses, and then everyone sort of like pours out, and everyone's like, oh, look at that. People are here now. But Trump's rallies, there's a lot of people 12 hours beforehand. So this bomb theoretically could have hurt a lot of people. I doubt it would have got Trump, but it would have, it, it could have hurt Trump supporters if it existed. A spokesperson for the Nassau County Police Department confirmed that, uh, or confirmed to Daily Mail that there was a suspicious occurrence on Wednesday ahead of Trump's speech where thousands of mega fans are gathering. But there is no validity to a report that there was an explosive device found. Reports of explosives being found at the site are unfounded, said Nassau County Commissioner of Police Patrick Ryder. Now, this is where it kind of. I guess it kind of gets funny because un unlike the Haitians who, where they eat the cats, eat the dogs, they're eating the pets of the people that live there. You know, that kind of thing. Um, we work with the animals. We train the animals. The animals are our friends. This was the fault of a bomb sniffing dog. It was like his first day on the job. <laughs> oh, that little, that little scamp. Uh, he, so anyways, um, Police commissioner, he, uh, he went on to blame a suspect with a self-trained bomb-detecting dog for sounding the alarm about explosives near the rally site. So it sounds like it's not a police bomb-sniffing dog. It's just a dude with a bomb-sniffing dog. He's learning to train a bomb-sniffing dog or whatever. And I, the dog, who is this guy? How do you get... How do you train a bomb sniffing dog if you don't have bombs to sniff? You know what I mean? There's questions here. The latest reports of a possible Trump security breach comes just three days after uh, the shit at the golf course. We all know about that. Police working in conjunction with the Secret Service remain on high alert as they should because the next assassination attempt, I believe, is only weeks away. And I say this because the last one I mean, a couple days ago, but before that, it was two months ago. Before that, it was, when was the last one? In 2020. The 2016 Las Vegas rally incident, when Michael Steven Sanford tried to uh, steal a police officer's gun to shoot Trump. And then in 2018, no, sorry, 2017, there was the uh, forklift attack 
some guy trying to kill Trump with a forklift. Then uh, 2018, ricening, poisoning attempt. Then 2020. So it seems like, you know, it's like every year there's one. And then um, Trump went a couple years without. And then all of a sudden, he's, he's getting them bing, bang, boom right after another. So if there's another in the next few weeks, I would not be surprised. They're coming faster. They're becoming more furious. They're becoming um, more advanced. They're getting closer and closer. There's a person who is being questioned who may have been training a bomb detection dog near the site, said the commissioner. Um, the individual with the bomb dog falsely reported explosives being found. And that individual is currently being detained by police. It is likely that this person is honestly um, a person that's trying to help. Is a person who's like, I don't trust the Secret Service, so I'm going to help. The Secret Service, they're not stopping cars. They're not checking for bombs. I have a dog that's pretty clever. We're going to go check for bombs. Oh, I think we found one. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to notify the people. So I... I mean, it, here's the thing. On the one hand, leave it to the professionals. But on the other hand, we don't exactly trust the professionals, do we? I don't know. The uh, sources in the Nassau County Police Department had allegedly told journalist James Lenino earlier Wednesday that um, the rally site perimeter was breached and a blue barrel was removed. So they really did think that there, there was a bomb at one point. In addition, during the canine sweep, they apparently found an explosive device in one of the vehicles, right? So it's kind of, it's kind of, kind of weird because we're told that there was a bomb and then we're told, no, it's just the guy with the dog that's the first day on the job. He didn't know what he's doing. But then we're also told, yeah, there was, there was something that, that had to get removed. And we're like, wait a minute, but couldn't that have been the bomb? They're like, oh, we can't really tell you about that. And the sources allegedly said the driver of, of the vehicle that, that may or may not have this device in it uh, ended up running into the woods. No one saw if he had anything on him. They just saw him um, take off running. A lot of cars are now in the parking lot. They're lining up. Just uh, the parking on the grass basically all over the place. So I don't know. I guess uh, because this is happening right now, we'll probably find out more details later. But it, it's, pretty, it's pretty crazy. I mean. Here's this poll here. Do you think it's safe for Trump to make public appearances? Uh, 47%, including my vote, uh, says no. 38% say yes. It's just, I think it's a dangerous time. I think it's a dangerous time. Anyways, that's it for this video. Uh, no, no actual bomb, we're pretty sure, unless somebody is hiding something. So thank you for watching, and um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Peace. Peace.